I usually don't do weapons videos on my channel, but I'm going to compete in a big potato cannon contest. And there's going to be a bunch of different spud guns and potato cannons. So I'm not going to use a small potato. I'm going to have a big potato cannon. But to make a potato cannon or spud gun, I need a barrel. And the barrel sits on like a stand. It's called a truck. And then I'm going to need some sort of propellant and a fuse. So I need to make all this stuff. I'm going to make the fuse from this piece of twine. I just need to separate these. It's too thick right now. So I need to coat my fuse in potassium chlorate and sulfur. And that's basically the compounds that are on the heads of matchsticks. Because this stuff is a little hazardous when chopped up and in the powder form, I'm going to wear my Micron mask and a full face shield. I'm going to use this old motorcycle mirror and just chop these up with the razor blade. Now I just need to use a binding agent and that'll just be some liquid glycerin. Now that I have a sticky slurry it'll be easy to stick to the string to make the fuse. Now after this is fully coated I need to hang it up and let it dry overnight. For the truck which is the base of the cannon it needs to be strong so I'm going to make it out of wood. Well, I need two that are identical I'll just use the first one to sketch. That's badass. Now I just need to smooth the edges up with a little bit of diamond paper. I need to drill four holes for the mounting hardware. So with the cannon base complete for the truck, I now need to bore the barrel. So I'm going to bore the barrel to 25 millimeters. It's a small bore high velocity cannon. It'll probably shoot at about 2,000 meters per second. That's badass. Now I just need a hole for my fuse. Now I need to bolt the base onto the barrel. Badass. So with the cannon ready, I have some 25 millimeter projectiles to give it a test. So I don't have any black powder or anything, so I'm just going to cut off a bunch of these match heads and shove them in there. I'm not really sure how many to stick in there, but that's about all that can fit. It is exactly 25 millimeters. Okay, I don't have sights on it, so I'm just going to have to eyeball it, and I think the alignment's pretty good. So, I missed the bullseye, but it's pretty close. Just need to clean that out and do another test fire, maybe back off a little bit on the propellant. Potato cannons are badass, and I give this one a solid 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Subscribe for weekly Ichiban Moto videos. It's also cool if you like them and share them with your friends.